Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another art journal page with um, some autumn leaves to share. I worked in my envelope art journal. I have it linked in the top right corner info box so you can see the making of such a journal. It's really simple. I start by adhering different papers to my background. I picked some vintage ones from my stash. I blend the background by adding some gesso with a palette knife. When the background is dry, I stamp the rubber dance leaf stamps. They come in two different sets. We have the I Love Leaf stamp set and also the Twiggy leaves. And I'm using different permanent inks to stamp the leaves. I have archival ink here. And I stamp them randomly around uh, my page, almost like a frame. I just leave some space on the top. I wanted to have my leaves more colorful, so I decided to color them in with watercolors.
I also used the watercolor to add a little bit of shading between my leaves and to add some blue for a kind of a sky on the top of the page. I'm creating a separate leaf to adhere to my page with the um, with one of the maple leaf stamps from Rubber Dance. It comes with a big maple set, and I stamp it with um, Distress Ink. I believe it was crushed olive because it's water soluble, and I want to color in that leaf with watercolors. One thing you could do is use a stamp platform for this technique and leave the paper in your platform or line it up very good in the corner and after you've colored in the leaf you can come back with the stamp and stamp it on top so you will create even more texture. In this case I forgot to do that so I just color in my leaf with watercolors. I'm using a needle to scratch in some veins so my leaf gets some more detail. I cut out the leaf and left a white border around it to make it pop from the background. I'm also adhering some words to create a sentiment.
To finish up the page, I'm adding some shadows with watercolors to the words and also to the leaf. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we see us next time. Bye!